Okay guys, so day three on Waiheke. A uh, bit of a late start again, which is alright. Uh, I am on holiday. So yeah, I mean I've decided today to kind of go explore the island a bit rather than lying on the beach all day again because I am sizably pink. Uh, very pink. <laughs> from sunburn so I don't think it's a good idea to do it again uh, yeah so right now I'm heading down to the bus to then head to Oniroa which is like the next bay or next bay after that over um, and try and pick up a bike now I'm not sure if I want an e-bike or a mountain bike but I mean I've been told like some of these mountains around here are pretty steep so you know just to get around a bit easier maybe get the e-bike for me it sounds a bit like cheating but I guess we can we can cheat a bit um, yeah so right now heading down to the bus to try and get to Oniroa to then grab an e-bike to then explore the rest of the island which will be pretty cool uh, I will <laughs> I am very pink so I'm going to get uh, silly sil enough I did not bring sun sun blocker sun lotion so hence being very pink um, I We'll stop at a shop and pick some up before getting too sunbitten. Cool, nice one guys. Yeah, I'm gonna, well, heading down to the beach anyway. Such a nice day. There's like, I can see like a little tiny, oh, there's some over there, clouds. I mean, this is New Zealand summer basically at its best. It's only like about 20, 21. I mean, I think it's supposed to go up to about 24 or something today. But I mean, already you can feel the heat, you know, coming from it. Um, yeah, cool guys. Okay, I'll check back in with you probably when I am in Oniroa trying to get a bike. Nice one. Catch you a bit. Okay guys, as you can probably tell from my um, stylish headgear, I've just picked up an e-bike. Awesome stuff. Uh, now, going to start probably exploring around here. Going to get used to the bike a little bit, going up and down uh, this beach, which is Oniroa. That's where I am at the moment. Look how amazing it is. Such a mint day. And here is my trusty steed. Yes, okay, let's get to it. I'm gonna test out the bike a little bit, just get used to it. Yeah, it's a, an e-bike, so it kind of it has assisted, <laughs> power assisted uh, thing. And it's got a throttle on it and everything. Basically, it's like the scooter mixed. Like, yeah, the scooter I was using the other day mixed with a mountain bike. That's pretty cool. Hopefully it'll help me get up some of these really steep hills. Um, yeah, I did like a 10 kilometer run yesterday, so felt like my activity section for, for the next couple of days at least uh, is covered. Well, my extraneous activity um, for today at least is covered. Uh, also, I have picked up some after sun and sun cream. So, yes, I am very pink, as I said before. Yeah, I kind of, I guess I forget, um, you know, living in the UK for so long, what the sun can do to you. You know, London, I mean, you know, it does get hot, but I, I've never really got sunburn like I have just now. 
cool. Nice one. So I'm gonna slip slop slap, which is like the New Zealand uh, thing for putting on sunscreen, etc. And then yeah, go exploring. Nice one, guys. Catch you in a bit. Okay, guys. So I'm sufficiently rehydrated and sun protected but yeah I've decided just to leave the bike there for a little bit and because uh, this is I mean phenomenal to be honest just how like nice this is uh, yeah so I decided instead of rushing off gonna just check this beach out a bit see what's going on Yeah, looks amazing. Okay guys, so I've explored uh, Honey Roa. Um, yeah, I got a bit of footage, da 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 da. Really nice, such a nice beach, such a nice day. Unbelievable. Uh, so now I'm a bit hungry, so I'm gonna jump on my e bike and head to uh, Little Honey Roa, which is like a little takeaway there apparently. And then it looks like, I've been looking on the map, it looks like there's like a like a fisherman's point, but then also like a blowhole near there. So, gonna go check those out. Uh, but first, yeah, refuel, get some some food in there. Cool, nice one guys. Got my helmet on. Gonna put, try this bike out going through up a hill. Cause, yeah, that's pretty steep. I mean, I could probably cycle it unassisted to be honest, but yeah, see, see what it can do. I mean, they're supposed to be quite powerful. Yes, up that hill. And then kind of little learning rower is like, so this is the beach. So any little learning rower is there. So I kind of just got there, or halfway at least, over the rocks. But then I was like, well, I might as well take the e-bike around the other side. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up that hill and around, 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 around. Okay guys, so I've just ordered, what have I ordered? A polenta box and a coffee uh, for lunch from a place called Dragon Fried. I mean, what better place do you need really to eat some lovely food? Let's have a look, see what we got. Okay, so I went for like, what was it? Polenta or something. 
Polenta salad. Which looks pretty good. Yeah, might as well chuck in. Wow, all gone. Uh, that was really good. Um, yeah, I'd kind of promised myself that I'd have something healthy, like a salad thing today, just to make up for this atrocious um, gas station chips and dips food that I had for dinner last night. So I think there's more than makes up for it. There's like capers, feta, olives, uh, sesame seeds, sunflower seed, polenta, tomato, stuff, lettuce, all the good stuff. So yeah, super good. Um, now I'm just gonna sit for a while, but then I will get on the bike and head up to the lookout. But first, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this view a bit more. So, I think I'm at the lookout, I'm not sure. Let's say there's like coastal access down that way. So I might go head down there. There's some stunning views on the way up here. Just like over there in this bay over here. I think this is someone's house, so I, I don't think I want to go that way. But like on the way up, on the uh, on the road up, just some of the, some of the views. Even these ones, like you can see. I don't know if you can see here in the background, but just all these, I don't know what they are, like what islands they are, but just all these islands here. Islands, islands, for miles you can see. All over here, 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 here. Like it's such a clear day. You can just see all these kind of, yeah, mountains popping up out of the sea. It's crazy. Like, such a, I can't believe how, like, lost for words literally <laughs> um such a shame actually like it feels like such a day to go swimming like i have such a pull or a drawer just to go for a swim but because i kind of was on the beach yesterday got super pink i'm not even going to risk it because yeah i mean everything is sore so and i didn't, didn't bring my togs with me anyway so it doesn't, doesn't really matter but yeah i don't yeah I mean, I'm gonna head down there to what it says, the coastal access. So this is uh, Oniroa, I think. This is like Oniroa, Oniroa. And around that way is, is little Oniroa, where I just had food. And then, I don't know, these are different bays. One beginning with H, which I don't know, I'll have to look up. But I quite like this, because it's kind of, oh, this is Fisherman's Rock, right. But then this here says Epiphany Point. So it's a great place to have epiphanous ideas, I guess. Um, let's see if any come to me. Cool guys. Uh, yes. It's just so nice. Check it out. So blue, and so blue. <laughs> yes.
that epiphany, I guess. Probably out there, but then some kids came along with some horrible, horrible music. So I had to go find a quiet place to continue the epiphany. But um, yeah, I guess it was you know, just the beauty of this place. Just, you know, the natural beauty and just, I don't know. Yeah, it just touches you, right? It touches you inside. It's not just about this external thing. Yeah, it's a weird, like, kind of, I don't know, capture, you know, a mental capture of this, but then there's obviously you in front of it. Um, anyway, I guess well, that wasn't really the epiphany. The epiphany more was, I mean, this is, this is the sort of thing, this is, you know, these are the sort of places that I want to be going to, taking you, you know. I mean, they're lush, <laughs> lush. You know, the seagulls think so too, you know. I mean, just, yeah, I want to be doing more of this. I mean, obviously, you know, there's uh, the other bits to this vlog, which I haven't really touched on yet. This is more the exploring part, I guess. There are the arts side and, and you know, more talking to people. But for me, yeah, this is a big part. It's finding these these places, you know, these places of beauty. I mean, it's great that I can kind of share them with you. Um, I hope that I can continue doing that. You know, like I said, I've got, got ideas brewing for the rest of New Zealand. Uh, yeah. <laughs> cool. I mean, yeah, yeah. is that an epiphany? That's an epiphany. This place is beautiful. I want to share more of it with you and go to more beautiful places for you. Yes.